loved ones can be made. The students were burnt beyond recognition after the taxi they were traveling in collided with a stationary trailer and crashed into a nearby tree. Wits University held a memorial service in their honor. Unbearable pain after the tragic loss of a loved one. Dakalo Mulema had completed his actuarial science degree when he passed away. His brother was overcome with grief. As a man, we've been conditioned and programmed that um, we must take things like a man. But from time to time, I find myself breaking into tears. Law student Sipo Makabane was described as an angel. His aunt had encouraged him to attend the church events. She is inconsolable. If only I knew that Sipo, now he will be dead. I just wish that God could have talked with me first so that I can sacrifice my life for Sipo because Sipo was still young. For Silayo Lolikame, Matilda is the second sister he's lost in the last few years. We are planning for his 21st. And then now we have to plan for his... Uh, sorry. Now we have to plan for his funeral. So you can imagine what is it that we're going through now. Condolences continue to pour in and with the forensic investigations complete, the families can now begin the process of laying their loved ones to rest. We had a number of bodies burnt beyond recognition because the taxi burnt. And as it burnt, a number of those bodies could not be effectively identified. The VIT 7 will always be remembered for their commitment to their church and to their studies. Wits University has urged the nation to keep the friends and families of the students involved in the accident in their hearts and in their prayers. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, Johannesburg.